Hello YouTube, Tim here with another Mirkwood style boat. This time I left the, the tips like I did on the lightweight Mirkwood boat. They're normal flattened, but the way I cut them brings them to a point which I thought was attractive. I'm not a huge fan of making the V cuts and then tapering the limb because I feel that adds just one more element that can fail and I want my bows to be very durable. If you're doing it that way, hey, power to you. If you're confident that's working, great. I'm not 100% behind that technique and so I can't in good conscience do it until I feel like it's going to be 100% safe and reliable. And on bows that I'm typically making upwards of 50, 60 pounds, uh, I don't know. I'm a little bit hesitant to do it. Although, what the heck, for the sake of fun, I might as well go ahead and try it. Especially now I have a bandsaw, so I don't have to do all the sawing by hand. I'll mark it out. We'll do it. I even have an idea about reinforcing the, the radius of the bend with a smaller gauge pipe. So, you know, we'll have some fun. We'll see what we can do. And hopefully we'll come up with something really, really awesome. But in the meanwhile, this is not altogether different from anything else that you've seen. The cool thing is this is the bow that hopefully I just posted a video on staining staining the bow with the PVC dye. So I did that a solvent dye underneath all of the other finishes. So really I just did a nice thick coat of the, the stain. Then on top of that I put on my normal uh, black shoe polish, brown shoe polish, and then polyurethane on top of it all. The poly is really, this is a matte poly. Let me show you the brand I'm using. I'm using Minwax, and, and in, in fact it's a urethane. I'm not sure if it's a polyurethane, but this is what it is. It's a spar urethane for wood, indoors and out. It seems to work very well. This one I put on a slightly too thick coat. Let me let that be a warning to you guys. Again, learn from my mistakes. When I put on the coat, it took a while to dry. I actually had to help it dry out with the heat gun just gently every few hours. I'd come back and just hit it a little bit until it's nice, dry, not sticky, and hard. So I think in the future, I, you got to be really careful. With the other bows that I've done it with, I've done very light mists, and it's dried within a few hours, and I come back and do about four or five coats, and that's pretty darn good. For this one, it's a, it was a much thicker coat. So you know, take that for what it is. It's probably a lot more protective, and even if it gets scraped off, you've got the nice brown underneath, so it should show less, but still. Careful when applying the urethane. So here's what it was. The goal was 60 pounds. The bow is a tiny bit light for that, but not a lot. A tiny bit light. It's about 50 pounds at full draw, if I'm not mistaken. And let's validate that. Let's test it out. Okay, here's the bow, and the brace height is almost spot on perfect 5 inches. So it's a rather low brace, but with these strings here, you can adjust them up or down to taste why I like using them. Let's go ahead and get it on the machine here. All right. We're on zero weight at five inches. Seven inches is 7.9 pounds. Nine inches is 14.5. 11 inches, and I'm just doing every two, is 19.85. 13 is 24.4. 15 is 28.3. 17 is 32.3. 19 is 35.75. Let's just go to 20. It's 36.95. So 30, call it 37 pounds at 20 inches. Let's let it rest for a second and then draw right back to there. I'm getting 37.15 with a nice rapid draw to 20 inches. Now let's give it another draw, but this time to 22 inches. Forty point six five, twenty-four, forty-three point one five, twenty-six, forty-six point five. Full 28 is 50 pounds. So the bow is a touch lighter than I wanted, but 
um, there's not much more I could do. I could recurve the limbs, limb tips a little bit more. I could, could have reinforced the bow. I could de decrease the deflex, but it, you really want to have that nice profile because I don't want the limbs to bend backwards too much mid-limb. I even reflex the entire limb just a tiny, tiny bit. So 50 pounds is just a sh touch shy of where I want it. I'll make sure that's acceptable, and then I'll, uh, I'll get ready to ship this sucker off because it's, it's looking good, and at that draw weight should still be a lot of fun to shoot. And it did seem to load a lot of that early on. Let's see, in the first 20 inches, it was what, 40 pounds? No, 37. So it was already at uh, about 80% of its final draw weight at that point. That's very little stack, and that's a good sign that it's preloading a lot of energy. If we want, or if anybody wants, I'm not planning on drawing up a, a, a force draw curve for this, but if somebody wants me to, let me know, and I can. Energy storage does seem good, because that's a very robust pull. You see how nice and short the limb is? That's about five inches off each limb. The overall string length was, call it 55 inches, 56. I didn't measure it, because I'm using a core. The core is for a bow that's three inches longer than this. This is all just gibberish, right? Okay, never mind. I'll just measure it, I'll tell you guys. But anyway, the string is adjustable. And thank you so much for watching. I'm clearly addled. Didn't get enough sleep last night. So thanks for watching and uh, tune back in. We'll shoot this and have some more fun.